How would you like to be on the winning team, the world champion soccer team? Or maybe be on the team that wins the Super Bowl? Or maybe be the fastest runner in the world, fastest miler? Or be the most valuable player in the World Series? How would you like it? To be in the stadiums, thousands of people cheering for you. That'd be something. Or the highest scoring basketball star in the history of the world. We want honor. We want, some of us want to, you know, do our best. And it's good to want to excel. Or some people, they would like to have power. In government. Be the president of the country. I'd like to be elected president of the United States. Or elected president of some other country. That'd be something. or write the best-selling book, or maybe be a movie star and everybody knows about you, or be considered the most beautiful woman in the world, or the greatest singer, or maybe lead a revolution and be written up in the history books. And then a lot of people, man, they want to, <laughs> all they want to do is make money. I'd like to make more than anybody else. 
Or how'd you like to be maybe one of the greatest inventors or scientists? There were some men in the time of Jesus. They were fishermen. That's not a very, uh, that's not considered all that big a job. But when you get when you get right down to it, it's a lot more important than other things. It's providing food, man. Everybody needs food. You could get along without soccer or football or a lot of positions in the government. We can get along without them, I think. And entertainment, but you've got to have food. I mean, farmers and fishermen and people like that. That's really important. But Jesus said to those men, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. They left everything to follow Jesus. Now, in the end of the world and throughout eternity, who do you think is going to be the ones who are greatest? The people will admire, will have the best life in eternity. Because Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his, as his work shall be. Will it be the person who scored the most goals, made the most money, sold the most books or CDs or DVDs? person who had the most pleasure. Many of those people will be in everlasting fire. And then what good? And who will care? Will they even care if they're the number one soccer player in the world? The most successful quarterback? The richest businessman? Then who's going to be the greatest? Well, listen to the word of God. Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. That's the sky. And those who turn many to righteousness will shine as the stars forever and ever. You see, there will come a time when these lights will go out. The people who were considered great when I was a boy in basketball, most people don't know them now. Other people have have surpassed their records. But even those who become greatest, if they're in hell, are they going to be really proud of the fact that they made so many goals? Man, they'll wish they had repented and turned from their sinful, selfish, evil ways and turned to Jesus for mercy. If they were saved and they spent their whole life just entertaining people in sports, will they be will they be going around heaven bragging about how many how much money they made? They won't be proud of it and nobody else will be interested in it. Not things of the, the world that have all just passed away. If somebody was the president of one of the greatest countries. Jesus said, many who are first now will be last. And many who are last now will be first in God's kingdom. You see, those men Jesus called, they left everything. They left a good job. They left an important job for something better. Jesus said, follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. Does it matter whether we win a few or many? Jesus said, here is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. I don't want to just win one or two. I want to win many thousands and thousands and thousands. Every one, if I can really win them to turn from their sin to trust in Jesus, hey, they're saved from everlasting fire. They'll have a home in heaven. Now watch. Now you see those lights that were shining so bright a little while ago aren't shining anymore. They faded. And when we meet the Lord, the things that we've earned for ourselves in this life and the honor in this life won't really matter. It's whom the Lord honors for eternity. And who's he going to honor? Who's going to shine like the stars forever and ever? 
those who turn many to righteousness. Listen again. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And those who turn many to righteousness will shine as the stars forever and ever. I want to glorify God and bring forth much fruit. Also in the book of Daniel it says, But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits, mighty deeds. And those that understand among the people instruct, will instruct many. So if you really understand, instead of trying to win as much money as you can for yourself, and the most fame, and an easy, pleasant lifestyle, you will be instructing many to turn from sin, to, to follow Jesus. The Apostle Paul said, For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Are not you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ that is coming? For you are our glory and joy. You see, the people he won to the Lord, the people he helped turn from sin to follow Jesus, when he comes back, boy, he'll be glad to see them. These are people I've rescued from everlasting fire. These people are going to go to heaven because I told them the good news. They'll be happy with him. He will be happy with them. The people who scored a lot of points in sports, people who made a lot of money, are they going to have a lot of honor? They'll have a good bit of shame that they did not seek first God's kingdom and righteousness. Now somebody says, yeah, but I've got to have money. Jesus knows that's true. Your heavenly father knows that you need all these things, but seek first his kingdom and righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. I learned a lesson from my parents many, many years ago. They left good positions in government, good uh, money, good salary, good, what people would think of as good security in this life, to instead preach to many, many poor people who could not pay them anything. Yeah, but you'd be happy to trade places with them, I bet you. The many thousands of people they de led to a to a public profession of faith in Jesus. Hey, everyone who's saved is worth more than all the wealth in the whole world. What shall a profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Remember, we're here just for a little while in this life, but then we'll live forever, either in heaven and pleasure and fullness of joy or in torment and everlasting shame in the lake of fire. Let's make sure we're going to heaven and bring as many others there as we can. Ask God to help you, give you the power and love to bring many into his kingdom.